Oh, Zach, thank God. Kyla, this room is a dump. I know. It's the worst I've ever seen it. I know. I'm trying to clean it up. Um, can you hand me the Atari over there? Uh, yeah, sure. Awesome. Great. Where are the controller ports on this? Oh, they're, they're on the back of the system. What? Who thought of that? That's just dumb. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, please, Dreamcast controller? Oh, yeah. I've okay. been looking for that. Yeah. Is that cord coming out of the bottom? Yeah, the cord comes out of the bottom of the Dreamcast controller. What is this? That's just stupid. I know, I know. Um, you know what, I'm... I can't seem to find my copy of Mega Man. Oh, with the horrible artwork? Oh my god, I was hoping to show you that. It's, oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh. It's like, who's in charge of making these decisions? I have, I, I don't know. I wonder. Hmm. Hey Jim, we're about to finish up the Atari 2600 prototype downstairs. I just need to know what side the controller ports go on. Uh, you'll have to go to the head of engineering. Um, his name, I, f I think, is Douglas. Uh, Mr. Douglas? Uh, hey Jim, we just finished programming our new game, Mega Man. And we just need to find out uh, who's going to do the box art for it. I think uh, the senior art director is going to have what you're looking for. His name is uh, Jefferson McDouglas. Uh, Mr. Jefferson McDouglas? Again? Really? Hey Jim, we're about to finish the design for the uh, Dreamcast controller. We just need to know what end the cord comes out of. Uh, you're going to have to go down to archives and uh, get the blueprints from uh, I think his name is Doug. Uh, Doug? I hate cats. Hey guys, I'm Doug. And I'm Kyla. And I uh, hope you guys like that skit about cats. Douglas is an excellent actor. He is a great actor. Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, we're going to show you our pickup videos, but we're also going to give you a channel update after that and then talk about our 300 sub contest um, if and when it happens. Right. So um, let's get to the pickups first. I went to the, uh, the flea market on Sunday and I traded a copy of Snoopy for the NES straight up for uh, Disney's Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, th th Snoopy was an extra double that I had from getting from some lot somewhere. And this is a really good game. I had a lot of fun playing this. I didn't beat it, but uh, like there's trivia, there's side-scrolling things, there's um, this thing where you like ride a roller coaster or something where you're like in a, uh, a jet or like a spaceship. Anyway, it's cool. If you haven't played it, definitely play it. And the other thing that I got there, this one guy checks everything on his phone, so you're never really going to get a good deal there. But, uh, he's a turd. Yeah, he's kind of a douche. But anyway, um, I ended up getting uh, Dark Stalkers from him for eight bucks, and it was the everything's in good shape. The manual has a little, a little wear, but the disc is in really nice shape. So I put this in a new case. The case that it was in was just beat to hell, and I'm so happy to have this finally in my PS1 collection. I love PS1 era Capcom, and um, the yeah, game's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we went to uh, Savers. Um, and I got Jungle Book for the Genesis. It's not complete, but it was only $4. Um, game's pretty fun. Um, there's an Astro Video sticker on here, and anyone from Western Mass um, knows about Astro Video. It was my local uh, video rental store. And so, um, I don't know, I just wish I was really into game collecting back then, because I kind of got could have got these for super cheap. Said I just bought videos. Um, yep. So, also at Savers, I got Tomb Raider Last Revelation. This one is for the computer. Um, and if you see right here, you've got great pictures of Laura. Yeah. She's hot. She is hot. She is so, hot. this one is the disc, this one's the um, EDOS uh, demos, and then you have the manual in here. Sexy pics, sexy pics. And, I mean, yeah, I think I only paid $4 for this too. Yep. So, there you go. Yeah. Um, then, um, Epic Mickey 2 was on sale for 5 bucks at uh, Best Buy, and I have the first one for the Wii. So I went on the internet and I placed a, an order to like, go pick it up for 5 bucks. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, whoever slapped the sticker like right on the front. Um, it has my name and everything. And then, you know, they, could, they couldn't have put it on the back, they had to put it on the front. But, um, you know, whatever. Uh, it's cool, it's 5 bucks, it's brand new. And it, I don't know if it's still on sale, but yeah. 
Can't wait to play this. Yep. And then we went to um, one of our local game stores, and I picked up Tomb Raider Chronicles uh, for the Dreamcast, which is complete for uh, $5. I love how the disc is purple. That is so cool. Um, and then, um, if you guys saw in a previous pickup video, I got Ico disc only for, I think, 6 or $7 at GameStop. And so I picked up this complete copy for uh, $10, and I've already sold off my extra one, so that was a good upgrade. Yeah, I agree. Yep. I and then, rules if you haven't played it. Yeah, it's, yep. Um, and then I got Tekken, the first one, PlayStation in the long box, complete for $10. Um, Tekken's, again, favorite fighting series, and... I love PlayStation 1 long boxes. Yeah. Every time I see one, I want it, and I, well, I want it to be a good game. Yeah, long boxes are cool. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing that I got, I couldn't find this used anywhere, and I could barely even find it new anywhere. Um, I don't know how big of a release it had, but it got DuckTales Remastered. Um, a couple pickup videos back, I got DuckTales for the NES at the flea market, which I had played, you know, a long, long time ago, but um, I beat that game and I remembered how much I really liked it, so I got this game, and so it cost me 20 bucks, mm -hmm. but uh, it was also... It's actually the first time I've ever heard him exclaim that a game is worth the MSRP. Like, this yeah. game is Well, I, I've beaten this game four times, twice on medium, twice mm -hmm. on hard. I've unlocked, like, all the things in the game. Um, oh, I, I haven't held the things. I hadn't been able to beat it on Expert yet. Um, expert or Extreme? Yeah, Expert? I don't remember. I think Expert. Um, but, um... It goes back to like the rules of the NES. Where you, so in this one, uh, if you play on easy, medium, or hard, you can just pogo by pressing the square button or circle button. Unlike in the NES one, we had to press down while pressing it the first time. So when you go to the expert mode or extreme mode, extreme mode, that's what it is. Easy, medium, hard, extreme. Mm -hmm. So when you get to that mode, you have to, it brings you back to the NES controls, and also there's no continues. Um, but anyway, it's a great game. The graphics are really good. I, I definitely recommend this game. I had a great time with it. Like I said, I've beaten it four times. The one cool thing is, uh, well, I'll, I'll make a review on it, but like you can unlock all the 8-bit uh, music and art, and like you can choose to either have, after you've beaten like the medium or hard difficulty, you can choose to have the 8-bit music or the actual orchestral music, uh, however they made it in this. Uh, you, so it's your choice which way you want the soundtrack done. So it's really cool. Mm -hmm. So those are our pickups for the week. Now, uh, a channel update. Uh, we, we're we always try to get you guys three videos a week. If we don't, it's because something technical difficulties happened over here. Losing, you know, the SD card in a vehicle, accidentally yeah. deleting all the files. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, we uh, <laughs> every Wednesday you're always going to get a two pro noobs. That's never going to change. Right. Uh, Friday you're always going to get a pickup video with a comedy skit. That's also not going to change. Right. Uh, but Monday you're either going to get a modest magic, a review a top 10, or our new segment called Getting Your Dumpster On, where I'm going to be showing you guys all the stuff I find in the dumpster, and it's, it's I'll, I'll always tell you guys what's going straight to my collection and what's open for either trade, or if someone just wants it, you can send me an email and you know I'll get it out to you. So that'll be a new segment, so instead of making the pickup videos longer with dumpster finds, it's just going to have its own uh, segment that way. Uh, now. We're at, oh, it's just about 270 subs, so when we hit 300, we're going to have a contest. I'm not going to reveal any of the um, details, quite yet. details, but Kyla, this is not in the contest, but Kyla is an excellent artist, and she painted, she drew and painted me this. This is a, this is a painting of Princess Leia, uh, if you don't know, in her sweet metal bikini. Uh, we have the, the Rebel Alliance uh, symbol up here, and so she just finished this painting it, and so this is going to hang in my game room. So, just so you know, she is an excellent uh, actress. She's an excellent uh, artist. Um, what's up? Nothing. Um, anyways. So, when we get to 300 subs, we're going to be doing a contest, and this is what the prize is going to be. It's going to be a PS1 uh, that Kyla has personally painted. This is the only one in existence. Yep. This is a working, functioning PS1, so you can either use it to play your games, or you can just put it in your um, game room uh, as a display piece. So, it's Kyla, and who is this? Uh, this is, um, oh my god, Donna from Grandia 3. Okay, so... Which is a PS2 title, but I mean, get over it. Yeah, yeah, get over it. So anyways, <laughs> it's really nice. It looks excellent. She's going to coat it uh, with some sealant and stuff so that it yeah, lasts forever. I haven't done that yet. Um, but, we'll... but yeah, so I just wanted to put that out. Um, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Find us on Facebook and Getting Your Nerd On. We're on I Got Gameplay every Saturday. And you can find us on RetroOnThem.com. Okay, and as always... Stay nerdy. Getting your nerd on, getting your nerd on, getting your nerd on.